Why aren't you bowling any faster? Because you're slow. Where's that coming from? This is the second video of a four-part video series as to why you're not bowling faster. <sighs> not again. Oh yeah. Remember this video? Now I'm moving in with my other hand. Look. The second reason we're going to be looking at is strength conditioning. Strength and conditioning work in its entirety can provide an enhanced platform for the body to perform on an elevated level. Sometimes misunderstood for its old school way of thinking. Kickers don't belong in the gym. All field training away from nets and matches can add a heck load of value and benefits to cricketers. Yeah, so there we go. Just to name a few, you can move like a cheetah on the field, you can hit balls like it came out of a tank, and you can become agile like, I don't know, just agile I guess. But most importantly and specific for fast bowlers, it improves physical robustness to bowl longer spells, it improves recovery times plus reduce the risk of injury and most importantly you bowl faster also it gives you a good looking summer body now let me show you what you possibly need to do off the field in the gym to enhance your bowling so first thing we need to understand is that each individual's physiological makeup is different meaning we are built differently before we jump into strength and conditioning work in the gym we first need to consider the force velocity curve to identify which part of the curve we need to train at. If you're someone with more slow twitch muscle fibers, you need to add some movements that focuses on speed and speed strength. Like med ball slam variations for speed strength overhead, through the chest, or into the floor. It could also be plyometrics onto a box. It could also be some ankle ops, like pogos. Or maybe even some sprint work. Or you may be someone with more fast twitch muscle fibers. You can add some movements that focuses on power and strength speed. 100! Maybe it's some bench press. It could be some strength speed lifts in the deadlift. What could also be some thrusters. Maybe you're someone with some stability challenges and needs just a little bit of strength to maintain that good balance. You need to add movements or positions that focuses on isometric holds, like the side plank with an elevated leg or the pallet press hold under resistance or maybe you're someone with mobility or flexibility limitations you need to add more range of motion movements that's going to improve mobility or just normal static stretches that's going to improve muscle length it might be that you might need to improve your flexibility in your glutes or your hips or even your whole upper body for shoulder mobility it could be some good shoulder wall swipes it could be some toe touch squats which is really good for the lower body. Now, having looked at all these different areas of conditioning, have a look where you may be lacking. Do some research or get a strength and conditioning coach to help you improve in one of those areas. And before you leave, make sure you catch some of these other videos to keep on improving your bowling game.